You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about the NFL because they unveiled their massively woke Pride Emblem. Yeah, that's right. Their Pride logo. Well, when they peeled back that curtain, unfortunately for them, they also unveiled some of the organizations that they're involved with. Okay, groomer. Uh, here we go. We're going to look at this because one of them is involved with possible grooming when it comes to the tra the transitioning of children and transgenders. NFL unveils Mega Woke logo to celebrate Pride Month. This is the post millennial. There it is. There it is. Take it in with all of its rainbow glory. That's right. There it is. Yeah. The NFL unveiled an updated version of its Pride Shield logo, which now includes the colors of the trans flag and the intersectional queer black and brown community. Seriously. Wow. America's largest sport le sports league posted graphics across social media on Wednesday where they went into detail on what their new flag represents. And there it is right there. Let's take a look at it. Oh, let's go back. Okay. The NFL is hashtag pride 365. We are proud to support and advocate for the LGBTQ plus elemental P community every day, not just in June. Happy pride month to our fans, players, staff, and the LGBTQ plus elemental P community. And let's get here together. The colors of the NFL Pride Shield represent the heart and soul of the LGBTQ plus community. In order to make our shield more inclusive, we added light blue, pink, and white to reflect the colors of the transgender flag along with black and brown stripes to include the marginalized LGBTQ plus communities of color. Oh, look, they literally have... A little, a little line drawn up so you can see all the new colors that they're virtue signaling for at this point. Here we go. The NFL's hashtag three, Pride365 efforts over the past year include making charitable donations to organizations including the Trevor Project and celebrating Spirit Day with GLAD. All right. Well, let's go back to the article because... We got a little peel back of the curtain on this. And let's see. Here we go. The hashtag Pride365 over the past year making charitable donations to organizations including the Trevor Project, celebrating Spirit Week Lad, promoting National Coming Out Day across the league, inclusive marketing efforts with our, quote, football is gay campaign. I think we've all seen that at this point. A night of pride at Super Bowl whatever. Super Bowl who gives a F at this point. Alley ship efforts with the Covenant House LA. NGFFL National Gay Flag Football League. Wow. Draft pick and so much more. As reported by the Post Millennial. Guys, that, that, that National Gay Flag Football League caught me off guard. <laughs> As reported by the Post Millennial, the Trevor Project has been accused of grooming kids into transitioning after a mother posed as a teen. That's right. She went under undercover and was encouraged into accepting trans ideology. Additionally, the LGBTQ group GLAD had a commercial aired by Disney that featured a family with, quote, a transgender child i can't imagine that transgender child transgender and child should ever in life be in the same like sentence with each other that is just so oh yikes this is where we are this is where we are everything is woke by the way i just did a video and i'm interested to see ron DeSantis. my gut feeling is you watch this channel I would be very interested to see Ron DeSantis if you would take any action against the Tampa Bay Bucks down there, Miami Dolphins, 
and all of this virtue signaling that they are doing right now, all these political statements in the NFL, I'd be very interested to see. Governor Greg Abbott, same thing. NASCAR had to come out and apologize to the rainbow community here because he was at the NASCAR All-Star event. I mean, it's unbelievable how political... Just go out and play football, Roger Goodell. It's not that hard. Go out, play football. Some people think you might end up losing your gig. I may have a video on that because of John Gruden. Wow. Football is gay, folks. Just letting you know. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.